you're trying to make a U-turn? Yeah, All right, yeah. You told me you had to pick a store. Okay, not a big deal. Um, do you have your driver's license? Is your driver's license valid? A lot of what we do is reading people. And when we approach the man in this car, he's playing it really cool. As soon as I just run your driver's license, it's valid, right? You don't have any unpaid tickets or anything like that? All right, any guns in the car? No, ma'am. <laughs> yeah, we can search it. Huh? We can search a car. Yeah, no dogs. All right, go ahead. Give me a pair. Step out then. Yes, ma'am. No dogs, man. The driver's demeanor is really cool and confident, and he gives us no reason to think he's up to no good. I'm even beginning to think, eh, maybe let's just write this guy a ticket and get out of here. That's what. Damn, you bought a lot of liquor today. Damn. Income tax. Where do you work? Me. How much? How much money is here right now? Sixteen hundred. How much? Sixteen. Sixteen hundred. All in twenties. So I ask him where the money's from, and he tells me it's from a tax return. Tax return in cash. This is kind of odd. I'm gonna put your money back in your pocket, okay? Yeah. So you just got your taxes done? Yeah. Even though our real motive is to see if perhaps this guy's up to something illegal, we gotta play it like a normal traffic stop so that he feels comfortable with letting us search his car. Andy. Hey, this guy he just not a big deal. He just drove across all three lanes. Thought he might have been drinking, but he said he could search his car. You got that in there, box? You sure? All right, sir, I'm just going to run your driver's license. If you don't have any suspensions or anything, I want you to give you a ticket for your running across all the lanes, okay? No, no, no. You don't have any, any suspensions, right? When drug dealers are transporting drugs around and they make contact with the police, they're really nervous. However, when they're really good drug dealers, they play it cool and calm. This guy's playing it very cool and calm. Victor 821. Can I get a 21, I'm sorry, a 29 DL check, please? Damn. Blackmail. Kick that dog. Stand by. Kick that dog. Any reason why this dog's hitting on you? The drug dog hasn't even started to search yet. But when I see a panic on the suspect's face, I know something's in that car. Alright. Yeah, he hit on me. Yeah. Okay. Damn, man. Gotcha. There's always motherfuckers that be fucking up and they full of, they dirty as hell. That's how you get caught. How you dirty and you fucking making minor ass fuck ups like that. You you making major fuck ups. That's not minor. You can't even run a stop sign. Bingo. Big crack looking. I mean, the smell is so strong in this right here. Oh my God. Yeah, that's Thing. This guy played it real calm and cool. Oh, search my car. This guy was acting so cool. He had me fooled. This click is big enough to serve a hundred crack addicts. It's huge. How come your plane is so cool and calm? You had a whole bunch of dope in the car. I'd have been going crazy. Oh, it's not yours? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, whose van is it? Do so you think maybe she left her crack in there? Yeah. I think the way people are with crack cocaine, that nobody would have left their crack in your car. I love that moment when the bad guy realizes he's been busted. I love that look. You want to know the moment I knew you had drugs on you? Is when the dog came and you nearly pooped in your pants. Yeah, you had the most panicked expression on your face. Is it the moment I knew? This crack cocaine cookie is just under an ounce. It's worth about a thousand dollars full and worth several thousand broken up. This is a big bust. Introduce yourself to your roommate. I feel great getting this drug dealer off the streets.